So I'm chilling at my house, cooling. I go through my snaps, start looking at my old messages and old DMs and things like that. And I ran across a girl that I was super cool with. Like we cool, we ain't end on bad terms or anything. And then I just hit her up, we wanted to hang out. So, man, look, long story short, we we supposed to hang out. I hit her up, asked her what she been on, told her that I ain't talked to her in a while. I was needing a little, you know, I was needing a little a little attention from a, a, bad, a bad vibe, a bad joint. You know what I'm saying? So, she tell me to pull up. Now, she's only 20, 20 minutes away from me, but I tell her I'm 50 away. Cause you know, I gotta drive around, scope the scene out, see how everything is, you know, things like that. And... Man, she just hit me with all this extra, like, hold on, give me a second, I gotta get dressed, I gotta get ready. Hey, you got this, you got that, can I do this here? I'm just like, bro, we plan for this time, I gave you a set time when I'd be there. And she wasn't ready, like, then I'm sitting around driving around the block, like, you know, just checking the place out, making sure everything is cool. And Shawty, uh, still ain't came out. I circled the block like three or four times. I left the neighborhood, went up the street, turned around two or three times. And the whole time is just like, bro, the police is outside and all type of stuff. So it's just like, I'm on some, I'm gonna give her one more chance. You know how everybody, I'm gonna do this one. Man, I did that, circle the block. Still nothing. She texts me the first time, hey, where you go? I was like, I was outside and uh, you got lucky because I was about to leave. So I turn around again. She like, give me one second, I'm talking to my mom. Why is mom up at 11 o'clock at night? Well, now at 12.05, it's 12.05, I just left. Why is mom up at 12? Nonetheless, I pulled off. I ain't got time for that. I ain't got time for that. My gut feeling is telling me to leave anyway. That's what I did. I left. I got the fuck on. I shouldn't even curse right there, but kind of upset because I don't like wasting my time. I really don't like wasting my time. See, the thing with me is, of course, the look of the woman catches my attention at first. Like, if she's pretty, I'm gonna look. If she's attractive, I'm gonna look. Next, that catches my attention. Okay, how she to talk, how she, uh, how her vibe is. Okay, catch my attention. All right, then after that, I wanna see what your, like, when I say talk, I just wanna see how she sound, how she are, how she articulates her words and things like that, you know? So that's what I'm trying to figure out. And then after that, I want to know your mindset. Like, what's your goals? What's your plans? How far do you plan on getting ahead out here in life? Like, all of these things matter. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, not off of this moment, but that's what I look for when I'm talking to a girl or things like that. See if we can be, be a vibe around each other, if we can kick it or not. But, uh, that part worked, but it's just like, why are you playing games? Like, I don't know if you really was talking to your mom or not, but I don't like sitting in places where, you know, I don't know, man. Trust your gut instinct. I left. So it is what it is. But I mean, I'm, I don't know. If anybody had any like stories like that before just you know drop them below in the comment section and, uh, I love to like talk about so tough but I'm headed home now get ready to go lay down this little drive was uh, needed it was cool